Hey, this is part four of the training series on what the heck can I do with these new channels. If you're not sure what this is, go ahead and click on some of those buttons right there. I'll let you go back to part one, two, or three. We're going to pick right up in the advanced options and continue on with the wrapper text color. We just finished understanding what a wrapper color is. Next item to focus on is what's called the wrapper text color. It is currently white. Let's go ahead and change that to be a far different color like this bright blue color right here and you'll note here that it is changing there it is changing the color of the text inside the channel ID area it also changes this particular area right below your video as to tell you which area is currently selected so if I have info selected it is the blue if I click on comments it is the blue that is pretty much the only area that is affected by the wrapper text color right here on the top and then right below the video player area Next comes wrapper link color, which is currently defined as being white. And the only thing that we're seeing right here that's white is the text that's below the viewing area of our video. So that is what is called the wrapper link color. Let's just verify that by changing it to another color like black. And we'll scroll down, take a look, see how that affected it. There they are. The items that are currently selected are the wrapper text color, the rest of them that you can click on are the wrapper link color. So let's focus on wrapper transparency. We've been playing around with 60%. Let's bring it back to the default setting, which is none. That means the wrapper color, which is currently yellow, is solid yellow all the way around with these outlines and borders around or wrapped around our modules. And perhaps that's why they call it a wrapper. I don't know. So anyways, let's change this. We looked at it at 60%. Let's look at it at 30%. That means we want 30% of transparency added to the yellow, so that's less bright. If we bring it all the way down to 100% transparent, that means you don't see that border wrapper thing at all. And that is actually something you're going to utilize when you're wanting to let your background images show through. So we talk about bringing up our backgrounds, we're probably going to do a lot of work with our wrapper transparency. So let's bring that back to the default setting, which is none. That brings us that bright yellow line all the way around all elements inside our channel. Now we're going to talk about uploading a background image, and this is where the fun starts, when you can bring in any kind of image you want to show as a background. So right now we have background solid color, but if I wanted to bring in some special stuff that I've already made, I might get a template like we have already provided for you and you can go get it if you like, we'll tell you how later. But here is, for example, a, an example of something that I wanna bring in. I'm gonna click choose and that'll load in a background image. That image must be 256K or less. It has to be a JPEG or a PNG, PNG. Those are the two formats at 256K or less. So there's our background image. You're just seeing the left side of it for right now. And it's kind of neat, it's this little blue blob stuff with a gray background behind it. So it's automatically gotten rid of, in essence, this red. So the red is no longer visible, it's being covered up by the background image I just imported. Here, as I mentioned before, is where we might want to adjust and move our transparency of our wrapper color to be 100% transparent. That then is gonna allow these other parts of the graphic that we've created to show through. Now, if we've done it with a good template, that'll help us identify where the little line area is that's clear and where these border edges are so that we can use those or utilize those in the process of creating our design. Now, note here, when your background is this way, meaning it's not tall enough, that background color is gonna start showing through. So that's why I mentioned you may wanna take your background graphic and eventually fade it into the background color. The other tip or trick that you could do if you're not gonna do that fading is right back up here where it says repeat background. So if we turn that on, then, and we scroll down, you'll see that basically it just starts that all over again. So that's a little quick tip to get you into the repeating of a background so that you don't have to worry about that background color showing through. Now that's not the normal method people would use to repeat a graphic, but it does work for you. Let's go ahead and delete that and let's grab another graphic. So I'm gonna choose a different file, Victor, me, the video SEO hound. 
and it's going to show up with a green background. So there it is. It's repeating over and over again throughout the channel. So when you do that, that's kind of neat, but it's not necessarily the best. However, if you get a nice repeatable pattern by searching in Google for repeatable patterns or seamless patterns, so that's kind of a neat option right there. So that's repeating the background with a background image. Remember, when you do that, it pretty much ignores your background color. Just a couple reminders, don't forget that 256K is the largest file size that you can bring in as a background. That background is either going to be a JPEG or a ping. And super graphic nerdy note here, if the ping has its own transparency in it, it will not work once it's come into your YouTube channel. It's going to give you a black area instead of transparent. So once you've got your background graphic loaded and you want to get rid of it, you just hit this delete thing and then you'll know it's gone because it A disappears and B it allows you to choose a different file and it says that no file has been selected. So let's go ahead and change our wrapper transparency back to none and we've got our nice bright yellow wrapper shown back up again. And so here's our standard background color without a background graphic. So that's it for the left side of the advanced options. Next video we're going to take a look at what stuff's on the right side. And don't forget to check into that template we told you to look at. It's got all kinds of guides and helpful things to get you getting your background graphics just right. Go ahead and click on that link right above my head or look in the description field.